Well, it's midday, um, and I just find these days go by so quickly, And uh, but I've really loved being able to connect with you uh, uh, in the New Zealand lunchtime to be able to share with you. And today I have a very, very special guest, uh, a very a special friend of mine who I met at Kingdom Connections in Vacaville in the US um, at the end of last year. And this is um, senior pastor and founder, Felix Manzanares um, wow. of Journey Ministries, uh, Cayman. And so, yeah. Felix, super great yeah. to see you on Zoom again, and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Bro, Pastor Bernard, God, God bless you. I've been watching everything you've been doing, and you have just been encouraging me with these midday conversations, prayer, the way you love your family and church, man. You make me righteously jealous from across the country. <laughs> and so when you asked me to come on, just have a conversation with you, I couldn't say no, bro. It's my pleasure. Well, thank you so much. And uh, I, I still remember chatting with you and your wife at uh, Kingdom Connections. I really yeah. felt a connection, actually. Um, yeah. And so really great. And so, I mean, I had to go look on the map this morning to refresh my memory where the Cayman Islands are positioned and so um so when you just tell us and those of you watching i mean some people might not even know where the cayman islands are but uh tell us a, a little bit about your lockdown what's happening how's your the islands responding what are you guys doing as a church um and so um yep so just fire away just give us an update so um the cayman islands is in the, the caribbean sea it's in the central caribbean it is um, south, I would say, southwest of Miami, um, southwest of Cuba. Our closest island nation that you guys would know would be Jamaica. Um, that's an island nation that we have a history with and connection with uh, as well. Uh, but we're right there, 45 minutes from Jamaica, hour and five minutes from Miami, 45 minutes from Cuba. We're right in the middle. Wow. And we're three islands, Grand Cayman, Little Cayman, um, and Cayman Brown. And we have a total population of about 65, 66,000. Mm -hmm. our, our major um, sectors right now, one of our main sectors is not even operating right now due to COVID, is wow. tourism. Wow. And, um, and then the financial sector, also as well, construction. Um, so far during COVID, we've had only one person um, passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had about 78 or 80 cases over the last seven to eight weeks. Um, people are recovering. About 45% of those people have fully recovered. Um, another group of them are asymptomatic. Um, there's been suppression, restrictions, lockdowns, curfews. We're still on the hard curfew on Sundays. Wow. Um, wow. Soft curfew on mid Monday to Saturday. You only go to the store or the essential places, pharmacies, um, supermarkets, banks, money transfer places, um, three days a week if you need to. Um, yeah. for your for your name so only people between the 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 last name a to k monday wednesday friday for essential purposes and then from l to z i fall under m is from tuesday thursday saturday so oh, wow. we're not getting it sure we're not getting it churches haven't been able to meet for about six and a half weeks as well because we went on a strict curfew but um our church is doing well i actually enjoy this season as a pastor i mean it takes a little bit more um, the anointing on the tech side, but people are enjoying the authenticity of conversations that pastors are having, things like this, like interviews, um, and it's really challenging our leaders and myself to love people differently and deeper um, in this season. So I'm enjoying this growth season. My church is enjoying it. We've had to pivot and be flexible, and they have given me a lot of grace to lead them in this season. I appreciate them so much. Sure. Are you able to um, exercise, go out for a walk or a jog or things like that? Yeah. So um, from 5.15 in the morning till 7 p.m., you're allowed to go outdoors to exercise an hour and a half totally. You okay. can't drive to exercise. You just have to start wherever you are and exercise. Um, however, our beaches are closed. So our beaches is a total lockdown. No public beaches is open. Um, and that's probably going to continue for the remainder of the month. Um, as well so we still could do recreational stuff I'm actually gonna exercise later today so oh. <laughs> um, that's been I've lost nine pounds Bernard and I'm, I'm trying sure. to get 50. 
I'm trying to get 15 out of me before COVID finished. So I'm going to try. Oh, well, I'm impressed with you. That's great. You know, we're very, very fortunate. Our beaches are not closed, but wow. it's only to exercise. Um, and so we're very fortunate where we live. It's uh, about two minutes away from us. And so my wife and I, we try and do our daily hour walk on the beach. And uh, we've just been so blessed with amazing, amazing weather, um, wow. which, which helps. And so uh, um, Cayman Islands, uh, is that known as the promised land as well? Yeah, milk and honey. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> uh, we are small but powerful. Um, we, we do have a rich history, um, maritime history. Yeah. And uh, the 70s and 80s, our financial um, sector kind of took off. So we, we are known for uh, our strong economy and our high GDP. It's being tested right now. But I'm so thankful that the financial industry is still employing a lot of people. A lot of people are working from home. And one or two people, I would say, for every three families, at least one person work in the financial sec uh, industry in some way. So they're okay. still getting support. Government been super gracious. They've been helping not only their local people, but also people that are stuck here because we have some some nationals from other countries that we haven't negotiated. Like their their borders are fully closed and don't want to open for their nationals. Mm. Um, so it's tough for us as a government to help negotiate some people that are on our island to get to their homeland. But we're doing good. We we are we are doing good and uh, together as a people and. Still some challenges. Some people are a little stiff neck, you yeah. know. <laughs> but um, but the overall the, the the contribution as a nation and collective effort has been really good. Fantastic. Well, um, thank you so much for that. It's just given us a little insight uh, into the islands, the Cayman Islands, where you live. But you know, as everybody knows, we're part of the uh, global prayer initiative called Unite Seven One Four, where mm. daily uh, we are reading from Two Chronicles seven fourteen and. And so today I've asked Pastor Felix to, to read that passage of scripture and to share a gold nugget of uh, encouragement or insight or challenge uh, to every single one of us who will be watching this. So Pastor Felix, thank you so much. If you could read that and um, just encourage us or challenge us as the Holy Spirit leads you. Thank you, Pastor. Um, so then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and restore their land. Mm -hmm. And so when I was meditating on that earlier today, I was like, I'm going to read the scripture in my spirit to get it in there. One word came out of it. It's partnership. Mm -hmm. Like I feel if you look at the Old Testament, we look at the New Testament, the Bible says that the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth is given to man. And so I feel that God is saying, hey, will you partner with me for my heart for healing in the land? Yeah. And the next God wanted me to remind people of is, hey, remember that we're in a new covenant. Remember that Christ in us is the hope of glory and he yeah. wants. And so if your sin has been dealt with, right, and, and you can come boldly to your father where you can receive mercy and grace, then why not pray? Why not be encouraged? Why yeah. not speak a lot? If yeah. we're a king and priest, we're humbling ourselves, we're partnering with the king of all kings, and we're petitioning and we're declaring and decreeing and setting up heaven and earth. Why not speak life over our land? So I feel that like God wanted to, to remind us, hey, this is a partnership. And because we know that there's a partnership, we know we're not alone. We know that we need help. That brings humility. That makes us aware that God, we're man. That who are we that you're mindful of? And we begin to connect with his heart. Say, hey, I want to heal the land. I want to bring breakthrough through you, Felix, through everyone that called me. And so... It's a very encouraging scripture, and um, it brought me back to like, hey, God, let's partner. Let's partner to see the nation shift, to see reformation, to see healing, to see breakthrough, to see this thing shift, and you get all the glory, God. Let, let's partner. And so that's, that's my perspective on it. Thank you so much. And, you know, I think, you know, when you mentioned the word partnership, it just like resonated because, you know, a partnership is two, is two entities. You mentioned heaven and earth. You're mentioning God and us. You know, God always fulfills his promises. He's waiting for us to fulfill our commitment yes. and our faithfulness. And it's about our repentance. It's about coming to him because he will always fulfill his part 
of a partnership. It's like, when will the people rise up and right. fulfill their part in this right. season? And, uh, and it's, it's not, uh, you know, one thing I find, Pastor Felix, is, you know, often when we're in crisis, we mm -hmm. then, you know, go to certain scriptures. And, and I'm praying that, that this will be a lifestyle for us. Okay. Bro, you took and, the words out of my heart, man. Because and that's you know that it's not just when we're in trouble. It's when yeah. it should be every moment of every day. Mm -hmm. This partnership, it's a 24-7. It's a journey every moment of every day as we partner mm -hmm. with God, as we bring the kingdom of heaven down to earth. And, and, and I love it. Man, I'm getting excited. I, I feel yeah. I want to do an altar call now. Come on, because yeah. my... my <laughs> This you know, and so that is, I, I love that. Thank you so much because um, it is just so, so true. And so, and Pastor just, Felix, another, like, thing, another thing, real quick, and this is yeah. just to go alongside. He wants me to remind you guys that his love doesn't go on a holiday. Ab absolutely. And I just want to, when, when we're praying, when we're partnering, know that his love doesn't go on a holiday. He's, he's not on vacation in the midst of this. So he wants you to know that when you seek him, you'll find him. So yeah. I just want to encourage you. Yeah. Pastor. You know, you mentioned that uh, a couple of weeks back, I had my daughter-in-law uh, do one of these sessions with me. And one of her insights was, and I thought it was very good, and I've often quoted it, is that God's not into social distancing. You know, um, he, he said he'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. And so... I just, I've just so enjoyed uh, this time. So, Pastor Felix, let's pray together. I'm going to ask you to lead us in prayer. I'm going to pray after you've, you're done. And, uh, yeah, let's just trust God for miracles in the nations, in the, your nation, the Cayman Islands. And I'm going to uh, not only pray for you, but also pray for the nations of the world at this crazy time that we are mm. all living in. So thank you so much. Let's pray. So, Father, we just thank you right now for this opportunity yeah. to petition you and to partner with you. Um, your word tells us that, you know, every, um, you're the father, whoever person on earth gets their name from. And so I thank you, no matter if we're in New Zealand, no matter in the Cayman Islands, no matter what yeah. part of the world we are, we bear your name, Lord, and we have the, the inheritance of breakthrough, healing, power, and victory. Mm. Bear in your name. And so, Father, I just speak peace over the nation of New Zealand, over my nation. And Father, I just pray that the earth will come forth and um, bear much fruit. We thank you for the planters who plant the seed. We thank you for the harvest spiritually, economically, socially that is coming. We thank you for the unity of the people. We thank yeah. you for the healing of minds. We thank you for breakthrough and, and restoration and reconciliation in families. We thank you for divine insights and strategy. We thank you for the governments that are upon your shoulders, oh God. And I pray blessing on my land and blessing on New Zealand. Yeah. And even blessings on the nations that are within the Cayman Islands. You know, the, yeah. there's 133 nationalities in the Cayman Islands. So the mm -hmm. world is here and we speak peace over the world. We thank you that you have the world in your hands. We thank you that you're the one that says, hey, water don't cross. We thank you that you're still in control. Yes. And we humble ourselves and say, Lord, break through. Turn this around for your good in New Zealand, for your good in the Cayman Islands. Yeah. Bring people into partnership with you. Bring people into redem redemption and restoration and reconciliation. May repentance flood the earth. Father God, my sons and daughters be born yeah. into the family of God. May leaders yeah. be strengthened. Oh God, send help. Thank you for your angels on the assignment, north, south, east, and west. Yeah. That is going to be partaking in this great harvest. And we bless the work of the hands of God through your people right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, I just, I just lift up your name, the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, the name of Jesus is high above every other name, Lord God. And Lord, I even just pray in just this COVID-19 pandemic that has impacted the world. Lord, your name is higher than that name. And so, Father, I pray that your kingdom will come on earth as it is in heaven. And so, Lord God, I just pray, Lord, as believers uh, um, stand in faith and trust you for miracles, I pray a release of miracles, a release of answered prayer, 
I pray, Lord God, that this is our time. This is our moment to let our light shine. And I just pray, Father, that you would move by the power of your spirit in the Cayman Islands. Oh. Let, uh, Pastor Felix, up to you and, I, and, and the church that he leads. I just pray fresh anointing. I pray that you would just refresh him daily, uh, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, and physically, Lord God. Lord, there's a, there's a credible harvest field in his country. There's an incredible harvest field in New Zealand. There's the harvest field in the nations of the world. Lord, we, we call in the harvest, Lord God. And I pray, Father, that during this time, and uh, that many souls will be reached and, um, and people will be saved and people will res be responded look, to, to the gospel, the good news, Lord God. Use us as the church, as believers, as Christians that carry your light um, in, in, our, in our families, in our communities, in our cities, and in our nations. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Felix, I just want to encourage you, you know, as you were praying, I, I, I just felt, um, uh, do you use, do you have automatic cars or stick shift cars in your country? We have both, but mainly automatic because we don't have a lot of hills. Okay. I just felt that the Lord is saying that you are going to be changing gears mm. and uh, with changing gears comes acceleration. You know, when mm. you change from first to second, even in an automatic, you can feel the car accelerating. And I believe in the spirit, God is going to accelerate you in, um, in the calling that is placed upon your life. And, uh, and so look for those opportunities of, of acceleration. And it's not going to be one mile at a time. Acceleration comes quickly. Um, and it comes when it's needed. Mm. And, you know, even at times, sometimes when you go to a corner, you have to change down. You see, changing down is is a good thing. Otherwise you might not make the corner. Um, <laughs> so, so times you've got uh -oh. to change down in order uh -oh. to take the corner to accelerate uh -oh. once more. And so just know that you've got, uh, I believe the spirit's going to show you when to change down, but also mm -hmm. when to accelerate. And so I okay. pray that for you, my brother. And, um, uh -huh. and you know, as, as we were praying about this partnership thing, I just, my head's uh -huh. like racing. Come on, brother. You know, in a partnership, there's always deposits that people make. Mm. Christ made his deposit in his son. He sacrificed. He made his deposit. It's wow. now, are we going to make our deposit Come on. of our lives Come on. and give and surrender our lives the same way Christ surrendered his life? Wow. It's surrender our lives. Mm. in the plans and the purposes to for, for the uh, healing to come to this land. Wow. Before we go, you gave me a word. When you were praying, I, I just, the word comforter came out in my spirit for you. You are a comforter, Bernard. I mean, when everything is in chaos and you're at the table, you bring comfort, you bring strength. We know that you're the type of guy that comes into a meeting and once Bernard's there, it's going to be okay. And I feel that you're going to be adding strength and comfort to national leaders, to, to leaders in your sphere of influence in the church, but also for business leaders. Like, I mean, you've already, I know a little bit of your story, you've already been doing that, but I just saw a spread of comfort, like a big, um, you know, California king size bed just spread out when you were praying. And I feel that God is encouraging you that you're doing the right thing and you're bringing people into rest, bringing people into comfort in the midst of challenging season. So, that's a gift on your life. That's an anointing. I receive um, it. Bless that. Awesome, <laughs> bless man. And so um, I just love chatting with you. I hope we can do this again sometime. And, uh, and uh, you know, we've got two amazing countries. I, I, I always confess and declare Christchurch is the promised land, you know, but <laughs> I believe, you know, you as well. I mean, my, our city's name is Christ Church. Come on, bro. Makes Come sense. On. Yeah. <laughs> And so, bless you, bro. And thank you so much for joining me today. And, uh, and I've really loved um, chatting and, and praying for our two nations and that. And so, you have an amazing day. You too. Bless, God bless you. you.